Good morning. Today is President's Day and I'm trying to balance relaxing with getting things done. I woke up this morning at like 3.40, something like that, because my youngest woke up and said he couldn't sleep and I was like, dude, you need to go lay back down. And then of course, once he woke me up, I didn't go back to sleep until my husband left for work because he did have to work today. <sighs> Blue collar jobs. <laughs> um, and so uh, once he left, I was going to get up, but I knew that I felt so tired. So I made myself go back to sleep and I didn't get out of bed until like, I don't know, 7.58, somewhere in there. So I'm glad I did that. And then I just got done editing one of my like random vlogs. Um, it's like converting to YouTube format. I have another video to edit where I took you guys to run errands with me and I will do that later today. But I wanted to film, I'm just, I'm in a filming mood and sometimes that happens when I'm at home. So, to do today, I need to give my dogs a bath. Rosie, do you want a bath today? The answer is no, she will hide from me. But Chewy, Chewy will take one. He will take it. Kitty, we don't bathe her. We ain't got time for that. Anyways, bathing the dogs is on the agenda. I've got a mountain of clothing to put away. I was thinking about picking up my Valentine's decor that's in the back room and putting that in a box to put away. Um, I need to sit down and do my planner and get back into routines. I haven't made my bed yet. <laughs> I, uh, I felt like I just didn't want to be bothered last week because of my period. Like, I know that I put on weight with my period and I still didn't like go crazy or anything, but I didn't measure like I've been doing for the week. And so when I weighed in this morning, I was at 192.6, I think. Um, and my lowest weight so far has been 190, I think. So not bad, but we need to get back into weighing things and all of that jazz. I wanted to try have you guys heard of the cereal called Crave? They're like these little squares and they've got chocolate in the middle. I wanted to try it and then I measured out like, gosh, um, 55 milliliters of milk and it would have been half a cup of the Crave and that together was like 180 calories. I was like, sheesh, <laughs> it was not filling at all. but. It tasted really good. If you guys have not had that cereal, I would recommend it because it tastes so stinking good. It's definitely like dessert for breakfast. So I could probably have more of it if I had soy milk to have with it, but I got it for the kids. I just was curious about it. So today is a day where I will putsy around the house, get my chores done, also relax. I sat on the computer this morning looking at that Timu website because I'm just curious because of the, you know, online influence and I don't think I'm going to order anything from it. I was like, it'd be fun to do a haul, but like, I feel like I'm picking out things I don't need or clutter and I just don't need to be doing that. So I pulled out. I wasted about 45 minutes this morning looking through their website and I pulled out. I don't need to be doing that. Right, Rose? Right? Look at her feet, what she does. She sticks her little back feet out in front of her and it's life. Your little footsies are the cutest. You know that? Simply the cutest. <laughs> okay, what do I want to get done first? Maybe get my planner set up for the week. Let's do that. Before I sit down and do my planning, are my children arguing again? Hey Finley and Brody, please get along. It's too early. Just too early for that. Okay. <laughs> I got some planner stickers from the Dollar Tree. I wanted to show you guys because I thought they were so cute. There was this one. It's got like little girly, I don't know, rainbows, peace signs. Just fun 
little stickers in here. What do they say? Uh, let's try a different angle so that way you guys can see and I can see. How about that? Okay, this makes more sense. So, I got these stickers from the Dollar Tree and they're super girly and cute. There's some fun ones in here that you can slap in your planner, see and dance. And so the adventure begins, to-do lists, notes, super cute. I got some hearts, progress, yes, to-do. Um, just a little cutesy girly ones. They have <laughs> taking care of business, that's cute. Make a plan to do, let's schedule. Is that the last sheet? Nope, we have one more. Then we have these little indicators. So cute. Then I have this one, which is like a wild one. I don't know how else to explain it. But they've got numbers, good things are coming, don't forget checklist get it done little bubble boxes remember important top priority work exams goals stay home stay safe yes you can make it work and then a bunch of like little colored dots i love this kind of stuff for like if i'm tracking something daily like my weight just to like give myself an indicator spot for those things and then this last one is just another cutesy one. It's got um, kind of like a Valentine theme. This would have been really great for leading up to this week since there was Valentine's that just happened. I'm probably gonna use this for my groceries, or not my groceries, my meal plan. They've got, woo, you guys fell. I knew that that was coming. You guys are a little top heavy. Hold on, there we go. Um, girls are the future, let the light shine. I love little, I don't know, positive things you pop in the middle. We've got all the emojis. I love how I can just slap this on a day that's not going well. <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be like my period week, like seriously, I just don't thrive. And more little indicator bubbles. Oh, there's one more, what do we got? The suspense is killing me. <laughs> Anyways, super cute for Dollar Tree stickers, huh? Love them. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and lay out my week. My week has been set. So yesterday we had euros. By the way, the Dollar Tree little sticker things are fantastic to write on. Um, but tonight I plan to make a sheet pan dinner because I have lots of vegetables to use up and sausage. Tomorrow is Taco Tuesday. I might bring home tacos from somewhere. Uh, Wednesday I'm just doing an easy subway night since it is basketball practice night. I've got some chicken in the fridge I'm going to make into tenders. And then I also have some different sauces to put over pasta. So we're going to do that. Friday is we've been eating out. And then Saturday we're going to make some burgers. Um, my weekly goals, I have make my bed, so every day I want to make my bed, read to Finn, make sure I read to him daily. I put gym two times this week again, just to try to get back in the habit of going. I put track calories on here because I didn't track all of last week, and so I feel a little bit out of habit, so I wanted to put that on here, and then cleaning my kitchen at night because I know that makes a world of difference for me. Uh, today is President's Day. We're staying home. Planner's going to plan. I just decided to stick that on there because I'm planning right now. But these are my main priorities that I want to get done today. Give the dogs a bath, finish folding laundry, tidy my bedroom. I want to clean our floors, which means vacuum slash mop sweep, all that jazz. And all the mirrors in my house are disgusting. 
Tuesday is pretty open. Obviously, I work for the rest of the week. So, you know, until about 5.30, I'm busy, come home, make dinner, and then I have a small fraction of the day. Um, I do want to make time to edit and upload this video so that it posts on Wednesday. So I put it on here. I may also end up going to the gym today, this day or this day. I don't know yet. Um, so I left it open. I have a reminder to myself that the Toyota dealership is going to be picking up my car at work. Um, I just wanted to put that reminder in there so I don't have anything in my car that I would be bothered if somebody had it. Basketball practice that night. Um, a little reminder to myself, progress, not perfection. This day is pretty open too, so that's why I keep thinking I might do this gym day here in here, but I might do a back to back. I don't know yet. Uh, Friday, just a reminder that my husband has a appointment to drop his Mustang off. So I have to go pick him up. And then for, or Finley's basketball games at 2.30 this day, I will need to get groceries over the weekend. And I went ahead and laid this down because I know between the two days, I wanna get myself a to-do list going. And then I'll leave the bottom, of course, open to track my weight for this week. So really, my goal is to get back to 190 where I was at. See, I didn't even track here. I'm like, no period week, skip way in for mental health. <laughs> but I wanna get back to where I was, which was 190. So that's my goal. I feel good now that I'm all laid out. I have some friends that made me a subscription box for my birthday and I use this box for all my planning um, stuff and it just, it makes me the happiest to pull it out every day. I have such good friends. Turtle killers, it's because we all use straws. <laughs> if you want to know why we are the turtle killers, okay. Kind of feeling like starting in my room, getting that done. Right, Rose? <laughs> I did clean my bed last night. Ugh. Best sleep ever when that happens, minus the children, AKA Finn. I kind of came home the other day and just set these bags in the middle of the floor. So I'm gonna deal with these, put everything away, and then make my bed, clean off the little tabletop situations, and vacuum. Today is one of those days I just feel like it's taking forever to do anything. Like I'm like, okay, as I take the things out of the Marshalls bag, I'm going to put them where they go. And so when I got my kitchen spray out of the bag, I was like, I need to put it here. But this thing was so nasty. <laughs> so I had to clean that, did that, decided to sweet peek and go in here. And then I was like, okay, the boys' bathroom needs their hand wash. And I got in here and this was covered and who knows what, and there's a stain, I have no idea. But this was like, some orange goo was like here, down in there. There was toothpaste of all shades and it was just nasty. So I had to clean this before I could put the freaking hand soap. And I use this, if you guys go to Marshall's, get it all. It makes your hands smell so good. Even after you're done washing them, I feel like I need to go back and like steal them all. It just smells so good. Anyways, took forever to just put some freaking hands open here. But I got my little salt and pepper filled and look at how cute they are. I mean, you cannot deny the cuteness that is the salt and pepper shaper. And they work good. They work so good. Yes, I'm gonna celebrate Easter now. I guess I'm just straight bypassing St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> I'm looking hot and spicy with my purple leggings, my Ariots, my house sweater, <laughs> and my lipstick I just tried on. <laughs> Sometimes I catch a glimpse of myself and I just, I just giggle. To be a kid and not care about calories. <sighs> I miss those days. That looks so good. I know. Oh, you lucky, lucky dudes. I, I have to wait for the soup. To cool down? Yeah. 
Let me try this, but I realize there's no Whoa. meat in it, so, so cool. I'm gonna need to do something. I haven't figured out my protein yet, but for 160 calories, I've got this little serving of salad. It's got crumbled cotija. It's got some sort of like, mm, reminds me of like a salsa ranch mayo situation. And then it's got some sort of like pepper corn thing mixed into it. Let's try it. This is from Trader Joe's. Mm. It's really salty. Not bad. I think this would be really good in a wrap with chicken. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take what's left in here. I'm going to take a couple more bites. Um, cook a little serving of chicken and put it in a wrap. And that will be my lunch today. Okay, for 340 calories, we've got a 60 calorie La Tortilla Factory Carb Cutting Tortilla. I've got a single serving of lemon pepper chicken from Foster Farms. I just cooked up what I had left of it. And then we have this serving of salad over it. So this one should be a lot more filling than just some stinking proteinless salad. <laughs> okay, we're staying focused. <laughs> I ate, I was like, what was I doing? Oh yes, my room. So. With the snap of my fingers, I will make my bed. I mean, not only did my bed get sloppily made, <laughs> it's made, okay, um, but my little tabletops got straightened out a little bit. I mean, the magic of a snap. <laughs> I'm gonna vacuum and then I'm going to clean off these dressers because they need to be wiped down so bad and we're gonna put a new little wall freshener in because my room needs it my room smells and looks so much better so let's go check that off on my on my list what I finally you know I don't even know what time it is. What time is it? 1.25. <laughs> Checking off the first thing on my list. Some days are just like that. Okay, tidy room is done. Now I'm going to focus on dog baths, which I need to do in this sink. And I need to unload this first. So... I guess I'll just go ahead and clean my entire little kitchen here and then I can give my dogs their bath. And yes, I, I'm messy. I made my salad and I just walked away because I had other things to do. This is part of my problem. I don't know that my planner is working for me today. It's now 1.55 and I'm still, like I just finished unloading the dishwasher. And the reason is, is because we cleaned the spinny plate in the microwave and I put it in there and the inside of our microwave is like old, gross. And I was just like, I need to buy a new microwave. And I sat and looked at Best Buy. We've got a Samsung fridge. We got a Samsung uh, dishwasher in our upgrading. So I was gonna try and keep it all Samsung, but I can't find a Samsung countertop microwave that's anything more than 950 watts, maybe a thousand watts. Brian was saying he wanted a 1200 watt microwave because the last few things he cooked said that it should be 1200 watts. And I'm like, so maybe I won't get Samsung. And then I started looking on Amazon and like all of their microwaves. And I found one that can like air fry, be a convectioner oven, like broil microwave. And I was like, wow. And then I was like, I was cleaning my kitchen. So. It's sitting in the Amazon cart because I want Ryan to look at it because it's an electronic and we're married and he needs to have 
wants to stay in, but I'm getting rid of this. Look at my microwave. Hold on. So this microwave used to be my sister's in her dorm room because our prior microwave um, broke. So like it's sunbeam, it's forever old. That's clean. Well, it's not clean, clean. Okay, I need to like clean. But like that brown around the, that's just paint that's worn away over the years. It's gross. I will probably wipe down the inside of it, but then I'm like, if I'm gonna buy a new one, why waste 10 minutes of my life? So we might be eating a new microwave tonight because I'm a little bit dramatic. <laughs> But we're gonna go back to cleaning. First, I want some cold brew coffee. Okay, 15 ml is Flavor do I want to add today? I'm feeling oh, uh, I almost knocked it over. Feeling some peppermint bark latte, please. One, two, three. When I was at Marshall's, I went and looked to see if they have any skinny syrups that are festive. They did not. I might end up going online and taking a look. Chewy certainly looks the most pitiful. You, you shebrin, I got you a fresh warm towel. Yes. Be still our heart. This fella was born in 2007. Him's an old dude, so he deserves a thick, warm, better towel. Yes, you do. I will usually burrito him up and then put him in his dog bed and he'll just lay there. <laughs> he'll just lay there for 10 minutes until he feels better and he gets up. Oh, buddy. Oh. Was there people walking by our house? That's so rude. That's so rude. They better back up. Right? Yes, they better back up. I don't give him something, huh? I love you. I love you. We're sitting on the couch. I'm just snuggling a little bit. And some guy walks by with his kids. And <coughs> Oh, we got a digger. <coughs> oh. And this is when people get <coughs> off of my channel because you're so obnoxious. You're so obnoxious. You're so obnoxious. You are. Oh. <laughs> okay. Dogs have been bathed. Next, laundry. Let me let me show you what that means. It is now two fifty-seven. That means this. We put that on top to keep the animals off of it and that. I have to put away all of this stuff. So I'm going to save you guys some time and uh, show you the aftermath of empty, empty chairs. And then I can start on the floors, supposedly. I don't know if I want to do that now. <sighs> Let's 
kind of a big chore. I have some clothes to put away. We're getting close, but I am like shaky hungry. And I realized that I only had like, I don't know, 760 calories today. So I'm gonna have this little guy fulfill chocolate salted caramel. It is 160 calories. Looks like this from Trader Joe's. Mm. I realized I never told you guys about the chocolate hazelnut one. The salted caramel one beats it. Which is like a candy bar. Holy cow. It's all melted on my finger. Well, that's gonna be another Trader Joe repeat buy for me. Very good. Okay. I'm gonna chill, eat this, wash my hands, put this away. I think my husband will be home. I have floors and mirrors left and honestly, I'm teetering on not doing the floors because I still have dinner to make and I want to edit and upload another video and relax. I have work tomorrow, so we'll see. For dinner, I've got lots of vegetables in this bowl. We've got Brussels sprouts, green beans, and then there's some sweet potatoes chopped up down there. I'm gonna mix this all with some olive oil and some random seasoning. On one side of the pan, I'm going to cut up this 170 calorie apple and gouda cheese sausage links for one whole link. It's 170 calories. And then on the other side, I'm gonna do these Cajun style links. They are 80 calories per link. So super low calorie. Vegetables I know are low calorie. The heaviest calorie thing in here will be obviously the oil. Um, so that's that. And then I was thinking of doing two boxes, but I'm just gonna do one box of this cracker barrel mac and cheese. Cause if I have any, it'll probably be half a cup, not very much. Yeah, half a cup most if I have any. And I know that my husband will like this and then I'll put it with the boys' um, meat and veggies. No doubt, I am stoked for these veggies. I hope they taste good. I covered them with some Tony's Creole, no salt added. I had this salt-free flavor mate. So it's got a blend of flavors. What's it say? Onion, black pepper, celery seed, marjoram, basil, mustard, cayenne, and parsley, garlic, carrot, citric acid, oil of lemon. I did add something with salt. What was it? Salad pasta elegance. Oops. Throwing things. This is salt parmesan cheese. Salt enzymes. Things I don't know. Poppy seeds, spices, onion, paprika. Any hoots. I need to. I started organized and then look what happened. Story of my life. So we're gonna do this in the middle. I'm gonna put spicy on one side, the apple gouda on the other side, and we're gonna bake this. It's gonna be good, I just know it. Decided I am gonna have some mac and cheese. I have 310 calories, 98 grams here, 160 calories worth of sausage, which is one length worth. And then I have 3 fourths a cup of sauteed uh, veggies. Um, so all together, this comes to just under 700 calories. And I still have a couple hundred calories if I need it today, but I feel like this is going to fill me up and satisfy me. Oh, my hair is so big. I took it. <laughs> my hair is so big this morning because I decided to braid it after my bath last night and it's just, it's a look. 
thank you guys for hanging out with me as I kind of, as my mama says, put seed around the house. And until next time, take care. Love always. Bye.